Now we are going to get into the fun stuff and we're going to demonstrate a few techniques on how to combine the gelato and how to make the gelato look beautiful. Abundance in gelato is certainly very important as, as we say in Italian, we, you eat with your eyes first and so that do your customers. When you make gelato look beautiful, the whole cabinet will take life and it is our pleasure today to show you how to do that. So here we have two pans of the same flavor. When you have to restock the gelato, that needs to be done at the end of the day, or also it needs to be done throughout the day as needed. Restocking of gelato or replenishing gelato in order again to create abundance needs to be done when the level of the product in the pan reaches about half pan to three quarter of a pan. So you take your pan of gelato that you need to combine, you remove one full pan of gelato from the freezer and you remove all the paper. Make sure that the lid is intact and uh, you remove the lid. If the lid has been um, broken a little bit in the freezer, make sure when you remove the lid that there are no pieces of plastic on top of the product. So you remove your lid and then you take a spatula and you start scooping the product out and the perfect consistency of the product when you combine it is when you can um, put the spatula inside the product which, without exercises too, exercising too much pressure into it. So I take big scoops from, uh, it's like you take big spoonfuls out of the pan and then you take one and then you take the other one and you just put just right next to it and you continue doing so. When you do this process, just line up these big spoonfuls and make sure that the product does not go on top of the sides. So we're building almost like a, a, a little mound, like almost like a bread loaf. So we continue taking the product and you see what I do with my hand, I just kind of take it out by just forcing the spatula to release the product. If you think that you have too much product, then you can scrape it off and pick it up again. And we do like a couple of layers. Now my pen here is pretty full, but I'll just show you. If you have half pan of product, it would just, just be perfect to do a couple of layers. So again, I'm gonna take some. And then I, I will have most times some product left on the spatula and I'll take a rubber spatula and I will remove the excess of the product. We don't want to throw away such good gelato, which by the way, this is a sorbet. As you are serving an artisan product, an authentic Italian product, the look of abundance and the look of freshness is really, really very important. You serve fresh gelato, you serve gelato that is manufactured and is made following all the Italian procedures and all the Italian methods and all, with all the Italian ingredients and all fresh ingredients, so let's make it look good. So, I have rinsed the spatula let me do it then one more time. So when, once you are done putting the product on top of, of, the, of the other one, of the one that you have to restock, you have to rinse your spatula. And then you have to, to dry your spatula very, very well. Please remember, no water, no water can come in contact to the gelato. The reason why is because water makes ice. And so we don't want to give our customers little ice crystals to eat with this beautiful product. So once I have rinsed my spatula, then I take it and I kind of level the product and I turn the pan around and I build this um, mound and I just level it really quick. Again, remember what I said before, no more than three minutes. I know it's taking a little bit longer, but we just want to make sure that the product is level. Then we have some product left on the spatula. We just scrape it off. And again, we rinse the spatula one more time and we do what we have done before. We dry it very, very well. Okay, we're ready now to make it look beautiful. You have your spatula. 
This is what we consider the back of the spatula. This is what we consider the front of the spatula. The goal is to give depth to the product and to give this abundance and fresh appearance. So we have a very simple technique that we're going to demonstrate. And you take your spatula and you put two fingers, your two fingers, on the front of the spatula, just like that. And then you take your spatula and you get on top of your uh, gelato pen and you keep the spatula perpendicular to the gelato. What we are going to try to achieve here is to sculpt the product. So the move is going to be very simple and I'm going to show it just right here. It's just a push, twist, and you twist your wrist. So push, twist, and pull. And push, twist, and pull. And then I'm going to do it on the gelato. So here we are, push, twist, and pull. Push, twist, and pull. Then I'm going to turn this, the, the, the pen around and push, twist, and pull. And then we do it one more time. And then we do it one more time. And that's it. So then we rinse one more time the spatula. So we have a total rinses of the spatula that amounts to three times. So now we're going to insert the spatula into the gelato as that is one of the traditional ways to display gelato in Italy. And the way we're going to do it we are going, let me turn this uh, pen around one more time. We're going to have to put the spatula one inch and a half by one inch and a half from, from the top of the pen. And we're going to do it just like this. The reason why I turn the pen is because I have my label with the ingredients, with the nutritional information and the allergen statement. I have that label that has to face me in the dipping cabinet. So the spatula, as you can see here to my left, is in the front and then the label is going to allow you to pull the pen up and to look at all the information without any effort. So the last step after you have inserted your spatula, it will be to clean the sides of the pen. And you take a towel or a sanitized towel or a paper towel and you just make sure that you go around the pen and you clean all the residues of gelato. And you're done. I have just demonstrated you how to restock your gelato and how to make it look abundant. Sometimes, though, you will not have an extra pan of gelato in the freezer to combine and to make it look, look so tall and, and very nice and beautiful. So what I'm going to show you now is how to smooth the product from a pan that you don't have extra to put on and still make it look very appealing. Okay, now we have a pan of gelato and let's suppose we don't have anything in the back to replenish it with and still we need to make it look beautiful. This process needs to be done at the end of the day and before you put the gelato away when you are trying to restock the product and if you don't have it then you have to work with what you have. So we have a pen that is just flat and so we take the spatula and we try to pull the product a little bit toward the center. So remember the mound that we have built earlier with the product that we combined and we restocked? We are going to try to do exactly the same, but with the product that we have here in the pan. Turn it around a couple of times. Now that we have pulled it from the side, so the goal here is to take the product from a flat state and we just mount it and we pull it from the sides. We rinse the spatula, we dry the spatula, we make sure that there is no ice, I'm sorry, no water on the spatula because water makes ice. And then again, the same technique as we used before. You take your spatula, remember this was the front, the one that is tilted a little bit, this is the back. So we're going to 
take our two fingers and press it against the front of the spatula. We're gonna turn our arm down perpendicular to the pen, and again, the same thing. It's gonna push, twist, and pull. And if you do it fast, then it's going to be very easy. So we're ready. Push, twist, and turn. There we go. Pull, there we go. And that is done. Now, one thing that we need to be very uh, aware of when we pull the product, when you run, when we run out of product and we don't have enough in the pen, the sides of the pen may get a little bit dirty, dirty with, with product. So for a fresh appeal, we have to clean, we have to make sure that we clean the sides of the pen. So we'll take a towel. And just we go around, just like that. Then we clean the insides. And that's it. Take our spatula. The label is facing me. And we put, we put the spatula in the product, like one, one and a half inch by one and a half inch to the right. And there you have it. So a fresh appearance of the gelato, even if you don't build it up very, very high.